Belgium. Career break law. The career break law makes it possible for Belgium employees to take a full-time or part-time break for up to one year and not lose their job. During this break, the employees are entitled to a paid state allowance instead of a paycheck and guarantee their position on their return. France. The right to disconnect law. This law aims to protect employees' health and rest periods and to ensure employees' personal and family lives are respected. It applies to all employees who use digital tools for work, including teleworkers. The law protects employees if they do not use their digital devices during periods of rest, such as during sickness, holidays, or outside of working hours. It's known for supposedly forbidding work email after 6 p.m., but the law does not impose sanctions on companies that don't implement it. Germany. Even though Germany does not have any actual laws related to the right to disconnect, German companies have a history of implementing policies to the same effect. For example, in 2011, Volkswagen and other companies implemented a policy in 2011 stating that it would stop email servers from sending emails to mobile phones of employees between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. In 2013, Germany's employment ministry banned its managers from contacting staff after hours as part of a wider agreement on remote working. Portugal. In Portugal, it is illegal to fire an employee. The Portuguese law ensures that termination of employment follows stringent rules and demands. However, the employers can offer resignation with its benefits and the hope that the employee agrees. Philippines. By presidential decree, the 13th month bonus is mandatory and has to be paid out by December 24th. This bonus is the equivalent to one month's salary. Similar laws are in other countries like Argentina, Singapore, the Netherlands, and more. Italy. In Italy, An employer has no right to dismiss a worker based on poor performance. The only reason for which dismissal based on poor performance is lawful in Italy is when the employee in question has performed below the average performances of his colleagues with the same job title and description and if it is due to the employee's negligence. Australia. Under the Fair Work Act, Australian employees who have worked for the same employer for over 12 months have the right to request flexible working arrangements, such as changing starting and finishing times, part-time work or job sharing, working more hours over fewer days, working additional hours to make up for the time taken off, taking rostered days off and half days time off work instead of overtime payments, or changing the location of work or the need to travel to work, for example, working from home. The Netherlands. The maximum probationary period on a job is two months. Employees with at least two and a half years of service are usually entitled to a payment on termination which amounts to approximately one-third of a month's salary for each year of service. UK. Women are entitled to take one year's maternity leave, and this leave can be shared with their partner. Maternity pay can also be shared with their partner, but is limited to 39 weeks. Which one of these weird policies would you like to see in your company? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.